Hello everybody, welcome again. It's Extreme Beginner Series. We're going to be doing some fantastic drawing here. We're going to try something uh, a little different, a little challenging. Uh, this is going to be uh, a tape dispenser. So we're going to try a tape dispenser, which, you know, can be, uh, it's got some curves and different kind of lines to it. Um, you know, if we're painting a paintbrush or a pencil or a pen or something like that, you know, it's a little more uh, straightforward, and, uh, you know, just uh, more or less like a cylinder and a very long cylinder. Um, this here, we have some curves, some straight lines. Um, so we're going to try this. So we're going to set this up across from us uh, on our table. And I always mention, um, as you draw, you know, your, your goal is um, to carefully look at your subject matter, whether it's a pencil, a paintbrush, a spritzer bottle, a tape dispenser, a bottle, a cup, a saucer, whatever it is, just be careful to look at the curves, the lines, and do your best just to try to render it as accurately as you can. That's all you can do. Obviously, the more you practice, if you're practicing your 10 or 15 minutes every day, your drawings are going to get better. You'll be able to render things much more accurately after practicing every day for, you know, six months. You're going to, you're, you're going to see your skills go way up and your rendering of subject matter is going to improve dramatically. So don't forget that. Stick to your game plan of five to ten minutes every day. And we always talk about, you know, you keep a little sketch pad, you know, with you. Um, uh, maybe... In your car you might keep one, you keep one maybe on your nightstand so you could draw a quick uh, sketch before bedtime or maybe when you wake up in the morning you're going to do a little quick sketch of something. Five or ten minutes, that's all you have to do and just, you know, stick with that game plan and you'll, you'll be on your way. So let's continue here with our drawing. We're going to do a tape dis dispenser and um, we'll do our rectangle. That's the first thing we usually do. I can zoom in a little here, I think. Okay, so let's do this here. So I'm just going to draw my rectangle. And I went out of the picture a little bit there. Okay, so there we have our rectangle. And let's start with a preliminary sketch with a pencil. So we're just going to do a light pencil sketch. We're going to do our table first. So we're remember we're doing two-dimensional drawings here. We're not getting so much trying to do fancy angles and three-dimensional angles on things. We're just going to try to keep it simple, two-dimensional. Um, we take our uh, you can use a ruler if you want, or you can just draw a straight line across the picture. I'm just going to use my ruler to give me a straight line across the bottom of my uh, rectangle of my picture space. So I'll just maybe make the line about the thickness of the ruler above the bottom border. And then just a simple line across, and that's the top of my table. So this is the top of my table. And then we can go from there. So now I'm going to look across from me and say, let me make this... I want to fill this picture space up here with subject matter, so I wouldn't want to start out by drawing a small tape dispenser like this, this small. I want to really, let's fill this space up, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my pencil, start here with a very light pencil line, so you're barely going to see this, but we're doing this just to make sure that we start correctly and kind of get the feel for what it's going to take to fill up this whole space here. So we really got to go up here pretty high in the picture space, right? And that looks about good. We're already almost to the top of the page up here. And then we will slightly curve down. Then we look at our picture carefully, or look at our tape dispenser carefully and say, how high is this location where the dispenser starts to turn back up in a U-type shape like this? So I look across me and I say, well, this distance from the top of the table to the bottom of this U-shape is, you know, a considerable distance, like an inch. So I'm looking at my scale here and I'm saying, yeah, that's about good. That's about an inch of space right there. So we're looking good. So in actuality, I'm actually drawing this 
if you can imagine, the tape dispenser is almost the same. If we were to set this down and trace around it, I'm drawing it almost the same in scale, the same size as what I'm seeing in real life. So that's just a something that sometimes incidentally happens when we're drawing. And then we have a slight angle up like that. Then I kind of, like a runner jogging in place, I make a little dot here just to kind of stop and see right, how wide is this. So that looks good. And then is there an angle on this coming down this way or is it straight? So I'm looking now across from me and saying to myself, is this line on the edge of the dispenser at the end of the dispenser here, the edge of this dispenser, is it straight, plumb, perfectly straight, plumb, or is it angled this way or is it angled in this way? And when I hold my pencil up and look at the subject matter and I hold the pencil in my eyesight and I look at it and I say, oh yeah, it is a little bit of an angle this way. So I hold my pencil up, I turn my pencil on an angle, the same angle as this, the tape dispenser, and then I just bring my pencil down like this and slide it over and then I have my angle and then I put my finger there and say, all right, that's where I have to land like that when I come down this way. And that gives me my angle like that. And there we have it. Now, we also have the tape itself and that's about here. So I'm going to look at that and just say, all right, yeah, that looks about right. And it's And then there's a circle in there. So I'm just going to lightly draw the circle, like so. And then here there's a base to this, which is black, and the top is all silver. So I'm looking at the base and saying where this base starts about here. So it's only about an inch up from the bottom, and then that starts the base. And then it has a curve up here. And that curve up is about the same angle as if we brought this angle like this. It's about there. So that's about where the angle starts. And then light pencil line here and it curves over this way. And if I bring this angle down this way over here, I notice that it's over here somewhere where it curves down. This pencil line here curves down over here about not quite an inch but close so about that much. So then this one here goes like so and then here it just gently um, gently turns upward like so. And if you have to touch up a few spots, you can do that. Maybe this is a little higher, like so. Okay. And that looks pretty good. So, now we have it rendered with a light pencil line, and now we can go over with our um, pen drawing. Or let's, let's maybe we'll use a Sharpie. Let's use something a little different. Let's go with a thick Sharpie marker on this one. Uh, again, you know, if you have a little more art supplies, you know, so if you can pick up a magic marker, a couple Sharpies, and you can do some drawings with these, and it makes things sometimes a little more interesting. Maybe you want to just have a little more fun with uh, some markers instead of using pen every time. That's totally understandable. So you do what you like. You can maybe do this in a darker pencil line. So maybe you're going to do this in charcoal or um, china marker or, you know, just using pencil. So it's up to you. Let's try a Sharpie this time. So what we'll do is we're going to contour draw around this. We already have the drawing all situated and set. So we're pretty good. And then let's, we'll start and just, I'm going to go up and just, we can just basically enjoy the process because we have everything, we have everything already laid out correctly with our with our pencil lines. So I'm just going to and I'm going to go across here. 
And then we go here. Like so. And then we have the wheel of tape. There's a wheel of tape up here. Like that. Then we can maybe do some shading. Let's do some mark. We'll use some marker to fill in our. I'll leave a little bit of white paper here and there. Maybe just a little bit of white paper here and there. Just so we can kind of have the feeling of seeing some of the shapes in there, that circle. If we, you know, it's really all black, everything's painted black in there. But if you just leave a little bit of highlights with some white paper left, then you'll see more of the details of it and it's a little more interesting to, to look at. And then we have over here, we have some darks. So maybe we just do this. So when we do this, we're having fun, right? You can leave it like this, more free looking with some and then maybe I'll go this way and just kind of fill in the bottom. Like that. And then maybe a couple. But I would leave some of, you know, you don't have to do fill in everything. You leave a little bit of white paper there just to give it a little variation. And that's pretty good. I think this is good. I, we could do the table. Maybe give this a darker line, the table here. Like that. And then maybe if we're daring, we're going to do a little bit of the tape, a quick little line. This is where you can really have problems if you don't land right. But I'll just do two, I'll do two lines to pretend there's some tape in here. So I'll do the first line really quick and light in this general direction going this way. And then I'll take this line and go this way. So we could use the pencil line first just to kind of, I'm going to describe how I'm going to do this. The tape goes from here over to here. So to maybe give it a little more interesting um, excitement to it, I'm going to make it two lines and I'm going to take the first line and go like this. And then the second line I'm going to take and go like that. So that's how I'm going to do this. And what I'll do is I'll just erase this now the pencil line because we're going to do this in marker. Alright, so the first line I'm just going to take this and do a quick like that and then over here another quick and maybe a third line over here. And there we have it. And then we could even do some shading. Let's do some shading. Why not? We're working ourselves here to the conclusion of this drawing. We're shadowing. We did some shadowing. Let's do some more. Let's do this. Let's take our China marker and let's get some shadowing on here. And we'll just have some fun with this. Do some lighter areas, some darker areas where you see. So I'm just going with what I see in this, in front of me. In front of me, I'm looking at this tape dispenser, and I'm saying, yes, this is darker down here, actually. Along this area here, it looks a little darker. And it looks darker over here. And it gets a little bit lighter over here, darker over here. So it's kind of got a dark bit there, and then it's lighter, and then darker here. I'm just kind of working out some shadows, some subtle shadows that I do see. There's light up there, and it gets very light up here, like that, and a little darker there. 
All right, there we go. And if we want, we can just sign our name on it. Why not? Chris Petri is signing out. Hope you had a, a lot of fun with this. Again, we used pens. We used a China marker. We used our pencil and we used a Sharpie. So we had a lot of fun. We used different drawing utensils to create this drawing. And, uh, you know, have fun with this. Make it more exciting by using maybe some different, um, you know, pens and pencils and markers uh, to keep yourself interested. Because sometimes it just gets boring if you're using a pencil or a pen and you're not really mixing it up a little bit. So you mix it up with this. And um, don't feel afraid to, to maybe on some of your drawings add a little bit of watercolor wash to some of your drawings, maybe some light wash. Maybe we'll do that next. Maybe we'll do another video coming up soon. Maybe in the next couple days or so, um, we'll, we'll create some uh, interesting um, drawings, pen drawings with some light wash of watercolor over the top. And those can be really fun. I used to do those a lot when I was uh, years ago when I first started watercolor painting. So. Thanks everybody for stopping by. And again, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed right below here, that red button, subscribe. This way you get all the videos. We're doing everything here, um, watercolor, drawing and painting in watercolor. And then we have our, again, our uh, Extreme Beginner series, which is this series where we're practicing up on our drawings, making sure we get our drawings in every day. Five to 10 minutes is all you need, 10 to 15. You know, some days you're gonna maybe do a little more, some days you might, you only might have five minutes, whatever. I know everyone's busy a lot of times. We have a lot of stuff we all have to do. We have jobs, we have families. We have a lot of things going on all the time that keep us, you know, keep us busy, but that does not mean you can't get those five or 10 minutes in. So don't, don't procrastinate when it comes to your, that's important for you. Art is important to you. It's important to me. Let's make sure we get that five or 10 minutes in and don't, we won't, we won't let anything get in the way. We won't let distractions get in our way, right? If that TV's on, don't let that TV distract you. Grab some pencils and do some five, 10 minutes of drawing and then we can watch our TV show. Even though I have a lot of TV shows I like to watch too, but I always make sure I do my practice first. So let's make sure we get our practice in, okay? All right, so we'll uh, see you on the next video. Have a great evening, a great morning a great afternoon. And again, happy painting everybody and happy drawing as well.